Indie Shooter. Brought to you by Atomus, Band Pro Film and Digital, Other World Computing, Panasonic, Sennheiser, and Carl Zeiss. Hi, this is Clint with IndieShooter.com. New for CES 2020, Panasonic Professional releases the AGCX10 lightweight professional video camera. We got a chance to get our hands on an advanced unit and just had a blast taking it out. Looking at it right off the bat, you'll notice that this camera is small, compact, and has two manual rings for zoom and for focus. It has a built-in ND filters with three filters. The menu can be controlled using a control knob on the body or you can use a flip out monitor as a touch screen. The three and a half inch monitor has 2,760,000 dots of resolution and you have no problem seeing it in bright daylight. We use this out in the very bright daylight and you can see everything just as perfect as, as if we were in a dark room. You can even flip the monitor out and get a mirror image for doing selfie video, perfect for Facebook Live or YouTube. The CX-10 has HDMI out, 4K 60p, 422, 10-bit HDMI output, enabling high image quality capture with the Atomos Shogun 7, which is what we used, or another recorder. You'll also notice that it has an SDI out and you can use this with the Atomos Shogun 7, but we were only able to get 1080p out. Panasonic makes a proprietary recorder, I think, that works with this SDI out. We use the handle accessory almost exclusively. Beyond giving you additional support, it also provides two audio XLR inputs with robust audio controls for both channels. You can also add a shock mount for a shotgun microphone. The handle also has a super bright LED light with variable intensity diopter. And let me just say this, it's not just some light for show, it's super bright and should be sufficient for any shooting needs. Casting a bright beam for a significant distance. Here it is at work here. Uh, we were on top of the Griffith Observatory and it was like pitch black outside. And you can see how it works like really, really well. The CX-10 has two memory card slots and takes SD cards. During recording, the CX-10 will seamlessly record from slot one to slot two during the recording. Simultaneous recording or background recording is also selectable to match the workflow and card necessity. To me, the most amazing aspects of this camera are threefold. The autofocus. Number one, it's seamless. No breathing, no missed shots due to lack of focus. On some cameras, autofocus falls apart while zooming. This is where the autofocus of the CX-10 shines. Now the zoom, when you're using the rocker on the camera itself, you can vary the zoom speed, but what is amazing is how the zoom and image stabilizer work. All of the shots of the observatory we captured using the CX-10 and they have not been graded and no post-processing has been done save that they have been resized to 1080p to make them easier to stream. All images are as they were shot right out of the camera. I think uh, the pictures speak a thousand words. Here's some shots that we got at Magic Hour at the Griffith Observatory. And I'm just gonna let this play with a little bit of music so that you can take a look and see what kind of images we were actually able to, to gather.
if you lose power, if you accidentally take out the battery or run out of power during recording, the CX-10 actually saves the clip. So when you regain power, it gives you the option to repair or restore it. Now let's talk about the optical performance. The four drive lens system controls the lens groups independently. This integrated lens offers a remarkably powerful optical 24 by zoom that ranges from 25 millimeter wide to 600 millimeter telephoto. With the eye zoom, uh, it achieves 32 by at 4K resolution. The zoom is amazing. And again, along with the autofocus and the image stabilizer, you're able to grab just amazing shots no matter where you are. We did two setups with the tripod. That was the wide shot of the observatory looking at downtown LA. And then also the Hollywood sign. After that, we had no stabilizer at all. And you can see this is me like moving through the crowd and there's absolutely like no jitter, no shake, no nothing. But where you can really see it is where I'm standing and I'm holding and I'm zooming in all the way. You can see these tiny details and these vehicles and everything like that in, in uh, Los Angeles. And then I pull back and it maintains the focus and stability. Where zoom tends to fall apart is when you're zoomed all the way and you don't have any stabilizing on the, on the image. It'll just shake and it's just pretty much unusable. I had no stabilization other than what the camera offered internally and it just looks amazing. So in regards to the high speed, high precision, uh, autofocus with face detection, Face Detection AFAE provides precise focusing and sufficient exposure for subjects. And together with precise focus lens, drive achieves superior focusing speed, stability, and tracking performance for both 4K and Full HD. In addition, subject tracking with uh, color recognition can be activated on the LCD panel. What does all that mean? It means you can zoom this thing all the way in and it looks like you're on a tripod. And if you're walking around, it's gonna look like you have some uh, gimbal by DJI or something like that. I was just amazed, which really makes this little camera perfect for broadcast. It makes it perfect for news gathering. It makes it perfect for documentary, but the manual controls and your ability to control the image also makes it perfect for filmmaking as well. We shot almost completely in the Ultra HD with uh, 59.94 frames per second just to see like how it performed under like the maximum it was able to do. So, and as you can see, the images are just stunning. They're just absolutely amazing. You're really able at that high frame rate to see the accuracy of the zoom as well with the stabilizer and the autofocus. The CX-10 also has night vision on it, which is absolutely incredible for doing infrared photography during the day. All you have to do is to get these special filters that you can pretty much pick up anywhere in Amazon, and you get this incredible otherworldly look from any place that you might shoot during the day. We were able to shoot some here. Here's some of that footage.
the CX-10 also has a super slow-mo mode at 1080p. And so we went to a skate park in Los Angeles and was able to do just some light testing to see how that actually worked. And I think you can see it's, it's like pretty amazing. The super slow motion shoots at 120 frames per second at 1080p. There are many more features that unfortunately we didn't have time in this video to cover, including a Wi-Fi module that is built in the camera, so there is no need for a separate wireless LAN module, and a Wi-Fi connection is possible without additional equipment. And using an app on your tablet, you can actually control the lens and other camera settings remotely. You can also stream directly from the camera over Facebook and YouTube. For more information, go to the website at bit.ly forward slash 309 I D W T. And they have all the information there. The unit will be available for purchase in March of 2020. And thank you very much for watching. Indie Shooter brought to you by Atomus, Band Pro Film and Digital, Other World Computing, Panasonic, Sennheiser, and Carl Zeiss.